Welcome back. This is the second of our videos on using RSS feeds in your class. If you haven't already, take a minute to watch our first video in this series. You can find a link in the description below. Like last time, we'll be using the reader Feedly in this video. But the same principles apply on any RSS reader you ultimately choose to use. In this video, we will focus on finding individual feeds. There are three ways to do this. First, you can search for a feed directly in your reader. Second, you can locate a feed on an external website. And finally, you can create a Google Alert. Finding feeds in Feedly is easy. Simply click on the Add Content button. Then, either browse by topic or enter a search you can also find feeds on the publication's own website. Anywhere you see this icon, you will find a feed. Most sites will have this somewhere on their front page. Select the feed you want from the list and click on it. This is an excellent way to find a really specific feed. Often the more specific you can make your feeds, the better. It helps ensure that you don't overwhelm your students with a lot of unrelated articles. Then, copy and paste the link into the search bar in Feedly. Remember to click on the green plus sign to add it. Don't just limit yourself to publications. Another useful place to look for feeds is on an organization's website. Having your students follow specific organizations is a great way to produce original content for case study assignments on timely issues. If you can't find exactly what you're looking for, or want to collect stories from around the web, create a Google Alert. Google Alerts search the web for keywords that you choose, and then deliver them to your email. An option that not many people know about is that you can have Google Alerts delivered via RSS feed rather than email. To create an alert, go to www.google.com alerts. Simply choose your keywords, and then click Show Options. Here, change the delivery option to RSS Feed. Now you should see the RSS symbol next to your alert. Click on it, and then add this address to Feedly the same way we did before. Remember to click on the green button. Once you have all of the feeds you want, you can organize them into collections. Simply drag feeds between collections, or place them on their own to start a new collection. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about using RSS in the classroom, please contact us at ctrltlr at american.edu.